this is how you move off fast in a manual car. So a lot of people get too used to using just a clutch to move off. This is not going to be good for when you're trying to move off fast. Before you do that, go somewhere quiet, go on a quiet road and practice using the clutch and the gas together. So when you're moving off, you want to press the gas first and then bring the clutch to the biting point. Yeah. So the clutch is down, press the gas first, bring the clutch to the biting point. So now the gas and the clutch are working together to move the car off. So this is what you're going to be doing when you're trying to move off fast. The only difference is you're going to use a lot more gas, then you're going to be a bit quicker with the clutch to come off. And I'll show you what I mean. If I was just to use the clutch just now without any gas, you see? Look, and then it's going really slowly. It's not ideal. What you want to do is use the gas as well, so you have lots of power to move fast. So I know where the biting point of my car is, so it's important to know that as well. Once I see a safe gap, I've got my handbrake down already, give me a signal. I put quite a lot of gas on. So loads of gas in first gear, then change gear. I'm doing about 25 miles an hour already, then lots of gas in second gear, and then change to third. I'm doing about 40 now already, and then lots of gas, and fourth gear. So you notice when I was moving off, they're trying to build up my speed. I didn't change gear too soon. The lower gears are better for picking up speed quickly. So if I was to go into a higher gear too soon, the car's gonna move really sluggish, and I'll show you what I mean. After this car's gone, I can move off. So let's say I'm trying to build up my speed quickly now. If I was to change into second, you see, it doesn't go that fast if I was to change to third. Again, it's very sluggish. It's actually trying to rumble now. To avoid that, what you want to do is use lots of gas in the low gears and then change later than normal. So I'll show you what I mean. So there's cars coming down, but they're quite fast. So once I join it now, I can put lots of gas on. Get into second gear when I'm doing about 20 miles an hour. I put lots of gas down again. And then third gear. And then fourth. So you hear the engine roaring. Use the power of the car. You don't be scared to press the gas down. Use the power of the car to get your speed up quickly. Another mistake a lot of learners make when they're trying to do this is they bring the clutch up too fast because they think, oh, I'm going to go fast. So therefore, I need to bring up the clutch really fast. If you bring up too fast, you're going to stall. You can also get roundabouts where if you're not moving off quickly enough, you're going to get cars coming from the right, coming too close to you. So here, if you're not quick enough, you're going to get cars coming from there and they're going to get close. This is where you want to be, you know, good at using the gas and the clutch. So I'm going to wait for a safe gap, make sure it's safe. Yeah, so gas and clutch and off I go. So if I was to move off too slowly there, there's a risk that other cars coming from the right will come towards me. You have situations as well where you might have to move off quickly at traffic lights like this. So the speed limit here is 40 miles an hour. So you want to be really quick. You definitely want to be in first gear. Don't try to move off in second gear for these kind of fast speeds. If you're trying to move off quickly, it has to be done in first gear. Second gear is not going to be ideal for moving off quickly. So once the light goes green, I'm going to put lots of gas on, get my clutch to the biting point. Once it gets to about 4,000 RPMs, I'll change to second and then repeat the process for second to third. So right now I've got my foot on the brake and the, and the clutch. So when I'm going to go straight to the gas, lots of gas on, bring the clutch up and then change to second so lots of rpms there the revs going up quite high more than 3000 at times and that's okay because that's how you're going to build up speed quickly 